These days, most of the news are shocking and painful. Homicide, honor killing, and destroying others for wealth are gradually growing in society. It is a matter of selfishness guiding them to act against the divine will. Jesus, during his entire public ministry, tried to eradicate the selfish nature of human beings. His life itself testifies that he lived not for himself, but for the other. Today's Gospel throws light on these issues. Prior to his passion, Jesus tells his disciples, He will guide you. After three years of experience and conversation with people, Jesus recognized the need of guidance. The priests and authorities who were supposed to guide the people in truth failed in their ministries. They were greedy for money and power. Their prayers and fasting only focused on their self-glory. This may be one of the reasons why Jesus says, you should seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in your life. The one whom the Holy Spirit guides will not fail in truth. The first Christians and saints followed the Holy Spirit's path. We also need to find and listen to the divine voice of God. When we begin to get attuned to the divine voice, our life will become a heaven on this earth. Jesus desires such a wonderful life on this earth. Lord, help us be guided by you so that each step we take will bring joy to us and to others around us.